welcome back to another video my people so in this video i want to show you how my mom takes care of postpartum mothers if you've given birth to a brand new baby and you know you know when you give birth to a new baby there's sore inside your belly so we take care of them the traditional way so as you can tell from this this is the back of a tree we have different different types different different types i don't know the name but these are back of trees. You bore this for the postpartum mother. There are different different types. It helps in wound healing. Start it. Mojedro ye. Eh, mojedro. Mhm. And now we. We are coco ye. Mhm. Coco ye ni. Mhm. And now mahogany. Mhm. We are mahogany. Mm. And now the wounds of cocoa, mm -hmm. and a yellow fever, yeah. yellow fever, the any mm -hmm. yellow fever, or their friend mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to your batter, while I grow one year. Only a man, a crony in our bell. So, as you can, as you heard from mom, this is a combination of herbal treatment. Eh? So, she said she gave them yellow fever. Uh, Bagarua. Bagarua, do like go to those who sell bags of trees, you know, and tell them that you, if you've given birth, you tell them you you have delivered, and you want medication for so, you know, this helps the the breastfeeding mother. It doesn't affect the breast milk. Yes, it doesn't affect. So let's go. Let me show you how it is done. You add ginger to it before you boil. So let's start. I mean, but you just wash it once. This is the African way, the traditional way. This will kill any saw in the postpartum mother's belly to make the woman strong again this is like a, a local antibiotic good for wound healing she after delivery whether cs or svd whether you delivered vaginally or through cesarean section you can do this this is a help local treatment so I forgot to add, uh, there is also a blood tonic. You know, there are some bags of trees that helps in blood production. You know, when you give birth, you lose some blood. Yes. So as this is healing you, it's also producing enough blood into your body. So keep watching. Guys, I forgot to tell you, there are cloves as well, a lot of cloves. So you add cloves to it as well with ginger. So you beat the ginger and you wash it very well, then you add it. Wenu, Obata and Numa, ever man in Muja, Sefiva, Wuni, Mua, and Lusu, a dog or Coco, Su, or Muni, Mua, a Bessino, and a Kuro, and Yamua. A crony in our bay who fit in this arc or can announce it. Obey a strong, you who be tracked them now. A young one day, not their hand about Moja, Coco, a crow, be play and Saya be play. My mana won't do so. Say, say, your commia, and you see the boom when they are near. I dare chiswa and Sana was that in. A three times cup ketua, three times a day. For those who do not understand our Ghanaian language, I know most uh, people from other countries watch my content, so I'll try and explain. Mom said sh this treatment will help the woman regain blood loss from delivery. Yes, because there's also a blood tonic inside. Yeah, you know, the natural blood tonic. We also have one for pals 
you know some women when they deliver they get pals a lot of pals from their in our points in our region you, you get what i'm saying yeah some women get it a lot so this treatment helps in ghana we call it cocoa pals uh, it also helps in blood production it also helps the woman to regain enough strength immediately after delivery it also helps the woman to you know uh, heal faster yes this is a combination of different bags so after we boil it for 45 minutes yeah you can leave it on the fire for 45 to one hour so that it will it will be deep yeah so you add enough water you boil and you leave it to settle down uh, a day after so do not drink it on that day so after it boils you leave it to cool down like this you leave it to settle then you pour it in containers the woman will drink it every day three times a day before uh, she eats in the morning and in the afternoon and when she's about to go to bed you see that she'll be having enough blood and she'll regain her strength immediately you know she'll re regain her strength quickly so this helps the postpartum mother a lot it does not affect the breast milk production yes it does not affect the breast milk production this is what my mother does for breastfeeding mothers and for postpartum mothers who's who have lost their parents so this treatment was for my goddaughter's mother yes i told you in one of my vlogs that her mother couldn't come for uh, after birth experience so my mother was the one taking care of the woman after she gave birth yes she was the one she that's the gift my mother has she has a gift for taking care of postpartum mothers so if you deliver and you can't uh, bait your child she she's the expert yes the only thing she can't do is uh, deliver babies yes she she can't deliver babies she hasn't she wasn't given that gift but she has the gift of healing postpartum mothers and also beating newborn babies. You can reuse this concussion. Do not throw the bag away after you've sieved the water out from it. You can reuse it. Uh, as the water gets clearer, you can throw it away because this is quite expensive nowadays. And this is not a remedy that will harm you. But if you are not sure of it, do not use it. You can consult your physician. This is a traditional method of healing postpartum mothers we've known for a long time. I don't know you, you are near me. I know pack up, get away, open up, go in there, and go anywhere. Within two weeks, I come back. I grow beer. I want to eat my beer beer. Now see you, my beer beer. Beko, so go go and go and eat my beer. When you move your body, the fever when you move your body, the cold 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 when you